One of the core practices of Kanban is to define and visualize your workflow. This is really important because it sets the groundwork for us all, all of the people that are participating in the work in the system, us all agreeing what is it that we do and how do we currently work. So there are lots of pieces of information that we need to pull together uh, to figure, figure this out. So one might be like, what goes on our board? That might be a great question to ask. What types of work goes on our board? Um, another question might be, what are, what are the current, what are the stages that all of our work goes through? Not a specific piece of work, but all of our work goes through. That would generate the columns within your, your Kanban board. But also asking additional questions like, why do we pick this item? How do we pick the item from this column when we go to select things? And what you'll find is that for most teams, most groups of people, they don't have any level of agreement on what that is. Why would you pick something? Lots of, lots of people will pick stuff because they think it's cool, because it fits, they think it fits their skill set. But the important questions to be asking are, how do we pick this so we maximize the value of what we're delivering? Is that the right thing to select in order to do that? Is that the right business decision? And answering those questions and coming up with a set of rules for our team, right? These are our decided rules on how we're going to select things, why things move uh, from one column to another, what are the defined states, what are the types of work, um, and how are we going to control the amount of work that we have in progress are all part of defining our workflow and explicitly setting policies. That's all part of this defining and visualizing your workflow. And bringing all of those things together allow us to have a way of working, right? It, another way of saying this, the other way of saying define and visualize your workflow is what is your team's way of working? And does everybody on your team agree that that's the way that they should be working? Um, this definition is absolutely fundamental to figuring out um, how work flows through your system, right? You probably have heard folks talk about having a stable system, right? You need a stable system. Well, you can't have a stable system if every member of the team decides ad hoc how they're going to do all of the things within the system. We don't have a system. We've got a make it up as you go along system. And that's never going to generate stability. So having a stable system means we've decided what it is. We've written down how we're going to work. We've debated as a team and decided on certain things and then we visualize that so we can all see what's going on. If you are struggling to implement a Kanban strategy, we can help or we can help you find somebody who can. Click on the link below.